I introduced maybe the possibility of a wintry mix. Here's why, and that is because once we go into our Friday morning, it'll have a little bit of moisture. Overnight lows, we could hit that magic number of 32 degrees. So won't accumulate to anything. Ground is definitely still warm, and it will stay very light. But uh, if you are in an area that won't get to 32, and you still have yet to get to freezing, Saturday is going to be your morning. That's where we're expecting our widespread freeze. Uh, the growing season will definitely end at that point in time. So as we kind of inch forward, we have a clear sky going for us right now, but that cloud cover is building. We have a couple of rain showers attached with it. But if we zoom on out still, now we have a fast moving cold front that's already expanding into central Montana, eventually into and through Alberta and Saskatchewan and Saskatchewan. And so that's going to keep driving us with with some higher wind gusts. So it's building in the cloud cover right now in Williston. Everywhere still has a chance of seeing a less than a tenth of an inch of rain for today, but we're going to take it to a warmer and sunnier Bismarck at 62 degrees. But we see those clouds certainly building. So highs today will be in the 60s in most areas, but that cold front it's coming through. So that's going to be the start here of our cooler temperature trend. Now, once that cold front continues to pass through, we can't forget about the rain showers, but now we're introducing a tightened pressure gradient. So those are the lines of equal pressure. The more we have, the stronger the wind. So for tonight, 30 to 35 miles per hour out of the northwest, driving in the cooler air, so it's 40s for the lows. Well, once we go into our Thursday afternoon, it's 50s for highs with 45 mile per hour wind gusts. That's gonna be our windiest day here. Now, once we go into our Thursday evening, 35 mile per hour wind gusts, but now we'll start in the circulate in a little bit of that moisture. So that is why in the higher elevations, like in the Turtle Mountains, we could see a little bit of that wintry mix to maybe even a few snowflakes as the morning lows on Friday go down to about 32 degrees. So that's where we're going to deal with that. Now our tightened pressure gradient will finally let up as Friday moves on. And so the wind should diminish from sun up to sun down. You'll notice that difference. But Friday's highs are only going to be in the 40s. Cooler for those in the northern elevations again and for the northern latitudes. But at least we see that sunshine. So for today, we're looking at 25 mile per hour wind gusts, maybe 30. We go to 40 to 45 for us on our Thursday. Then we go to Friday we start to see those winds improve everywhere there. We'll also see those winds out of the Northwest. Just for the moisture for today, we're gonna see it just pump in a little bit, basically for the Northeast and East of Highway 83, a 10th of an inch, if that most of us I do still think will stay dry. We go to today, we're looking at those highs in the mid 60s, tomorrow the 50s with the wind. We go to Friday morning, that's where we're dipping to about 32 degrees. Friday, we'll see those highs in the 50, in the, excuse me, in the 40s. Then we go to Saturday morning. That's going to be our coolest morning yet. I still wouldn't be surprised, Krista, if some areas will dip to the teens, especially if we have the clear skies and the calm winds like the ones I think we should. So the gardens are going to be done on Saturday morning. That's right. So if you got outdoor work to do, either do it probably today or just hold off till next week. Next week is beautiful. We didn't even get to that 70 already on Monday. Looking pretty good. Yep. Thanks, Heidi.